Hey guys, welcome back for another tutorial today. Um, today we're going to be doing motion tracking inside of Premiere and I know a lot of times I do this in After Effects but I want to show you how you can actually motion track inside of Premiere Pro. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Alright, so now that we're back here in Premiere, i am got this Statue of Liberty clip and I'm just going to play through it um, right here in my timeline. So as I scroll through I can just see that it's just panning around the Statue of Liberty. So I'm going to set up some motion tracking to follow the Statue of Liberty. Now first thing I want to do is I want to go into my color tab here and make some color adjustments because it's just really dim and dull. So let's add a bit of saturation here and let's see. See what that looks like. We got it here. Oh yeah. Okay. So a little bit about right there, and then I'm going to go down and take curves, and I'm going to drop this down, and I'm going to put this up to make it a little bit more dynamic and give it some better contrast. Okay. Now if I turn this off and on, I can see the difference. Okay. So I'm happy with that. I might bring this up just a little bit. Okay. All right. That looks pretty good. So now we're going to go back into assembly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it into, let me just drop it down here, we're going to paste it into this V2. So I want to make sure that these are not uh, checked here and that this is enabled and then I'll paste it and it's going to duplicate that layer. So we'll move it back here to the beginning and then what we're going to do is go up to effects and I'm going to go to my opacity layer here and I'm going to make a mask. So I'm just going to take this uh, ellipse and I'm going to move it over. Now it looks like nothing's even changed here because I've got this other layer on so I'm going to go ahead and disable that and now you can see that I've made a mask. So let's drop this down a little bit and I'm on my MacBook today. It's a 2011 model so it's really slow so I apologize. <laughs> um, let's see. So I've decreased the mask expansion and um, I'm going to take the feathering and bring it up just a little bit. And now, if I look at this, I can see that I've got it right, right around here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this by start the tracking by clicking this play button, and that's going to go through frame by frame and start tracking exactly where I have this mask. So let's go ahead and start there. Um, we'll watch the progress. Now, I don't expect you to sit here for all this, so I'll see you in just a sec. Okay, so now I'm back, and I've got all these keyframes. That track only took about four times as long as my desktop because this thing's so old. Anyway, so now we've got uh, this mask here, and if I scroll back through my timeline, I can see that the mask follows everywhere that it goes. So if I try to play it back, you're going to see that it follows it in the screen. Well, one thing that I can do is I can turn this back on, and now I can do anything to this mask, and uh, it will apply to that mask. So if I want to, you know, take the expansion and move it, if I disable this, I can move it up and make changes. Then as I go back, it's still going to track what's in the scene because I've put all of these keyframes in here so now we can see that it moves with uh, with the Statue of Liberty so that's pretty much all we're gonna do in this one uh, it's really easy if you wanna ha if you wanna take it and track something in the background or track something in a scene and then copy and paste your layer so that you can make changes on top of this maybe you wanted to track someone's face and you want to add color to their face you could do that and then have this second layer that only tracks the face where you have the rest of the scene in it so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe if you haven't yet and I'll see you guys in the next one